Movie star Ava Gardner went from rags to riches, becoming famous in the 1950s as one of the most beautiful women in the world and the love of Frank Sinatra's life. Ava Gardner was a remarkable combination of not just beauty, but sultriness. Men lusted after Ava Gardner. Born in Grabtown, North Carolina on December 24, 1922, Ava Gardner's striking dark hair and green eyes caught the eye of MGM and its biggest star, Mickey Rooney, when she was only 18 years old. Rooney and Gardner married, but divorced a year later. Ava Gardner always makes me think of her disastrous screen test for MGM. It went over terribly, and yet Louis B. Mayer sent a telegram back to his producer saying, she can't act, she can't dance, she can't talk, she's terrific. And lo and behold, she became a huge star. After acting in bit parts, Gardner finally found a hit in the 1946 noir film, The Killers, starring alongside an unknown Burt Lancaster. Gardner followed up with a string of femme fatale roles with co-stars such as Clark Gable, Gregory Peck, and Tyrone Power. Ava Gardner was a fairly strong femme fatale character in, in film noirs because she would just sit there and look so sultry and beautiful without hardly doing anything. In 1953, Gardner earned her only Academy Award for the film Magambo, and the following year she starred in The Barefoot Contessa with Humphrey Bogart, a top box office hit which many consider to be her signature film. The great thing about The Barefoot Contessa is that when Ava Gardner was a kid, she ran around barefoot in North Carolina and Virginia, and then all of a sudden here she is playing The Barefoot Contessa. It's perfect casting. I'm not sure Humphrey Bogart was perfect casting, but she was. In her private life, Gardner was known for her tempestuous relationships with a variety of men, like Artie Shaw, Howard Hughes, and most famously, Frank Sinatra. The two married in 1951, and after many reconciliations, eventually divorced in 1957. The Ava Gardner-Frank Sinatra relationship was one of the romances of the century, according to People magazine. It was a tumultuous, passionate pairing. They were good and bad for each other at the same time. It was her third and last marriage, and the crooner left his wife and children to be with Ava Gardner. After appearing in her final major role in the film The Night of the Iguana in 1964, Gardner continued to act sporadically and eventually moved to England. On January 25, 1990, Ava Gardner died from pneumonia at the age of 67. When people use the phrase, the camera loves somebody, they're talking about Ava Gardner. She may not have been the best actress of all time. She may not have been a particularly great dancer, but the minute that camera rolled, you couldn't take your eyes off of her.